For the past 400 years, scientists have relied on improving the optical resolution of microscopes to see tinier structure inside human brains. Now they've come up with a bold new strategy. We were able to expand the brain size several times in the linear dimension, preserving its structure. This technology called expansion microscopy can enlarge a piece of brain tissue 700 times, but it's only applicable to dead brain slices. What if scientists don't want to study live and active brain cells in real time? A human brain functions through a network of neurons. They communicate with each other and process information using rapid electrical impulses. Historically, neuroscientists, in order to see electrical activity in the neurons, we usually pierce it with an electrode, with a sharp electrode. You can imagine it's a very invasive procedure. Not only can this measure cause irreversible damage to brain tissues, it is also far from visualizing the neural network. Though active neurons are constantly firing under the microscope, everything just looks calm. Until scientists design a special molecule called the fluorescent probe. When there is electrical activity going through, the molecules become brighter. As the neurons compute using electrical impulses, attaching this light-emitting molecule to the neurons is like installing a light bulb onto it. Whenever the neuron is working, the bulb lights up. So how can this probe be inserted into a live brain? It's very important to make sure that the gene when we express in neurons doesn't do any harm to the neurons. If you express some foreign gene, it can be cytotoxic and kill the cell. A petri dish of E. coli bacteria is the factory that produces this light-emitting molecules. Genetically inserting those molecules into bacteria enable them to glow. When the bacteria is fully grown, the brightest have become the chosen ones. That's when they're ready to leave the factory and move into a brain to highlight the neurons. Pia Kavich showed that they could use expansion microscopy technology to expand the mouse brain slice and then use the molecules to visualize neurons there. When the sample is getting bigger and glowing, unprecedented details are showing. Our goal is to highlight as many as different structures as possible simultaneously. And what we're doing, we're trying to find as many different colors as possible that we can deliver into a brain and see as many different things. But the real moment came when a fluorescent probe was used in a live, awake brain. Basically, how it looks on the, on the screen, we see the neurons are blinking. And every time neuron is highlighting or neuron is bright, it means there is certain activity going on. New technique helps lower costs to visualize brain activities, allowing scientists to understand how the brain reacts when it is engaged in a specific behavior. In the next 20 to 30 years, for example, in China, brain-related diseases will be the major economical and social burden in the next decade or so. Can we treat, can we understand every single brain disorder to the point where we can treat it and fix it? And I would even say, can we even augment the brain? Can we make our brain to perform better and, and smarter?